Hi, hello, and welcome back to World of Horror. We're gonna jump right back into this game because I had a ton of fun with the previous one, but I want to see. Um, would you like to customize your next playthroughs? Look, there are many different colors. No, I'll just I'm gonna stick with what I had before. Um, okay, so this option will prepare the standard playthrough for you, allowing you to start the game without worrying about in-depth stuff for now. Okay. So first, last time we did the spine-chilling story of school scissors. Now we're gonna do extracurricular activity. We're gonna keep it on normal mode for now. Eventually we're gonna jump to other difficulties, but right now we're just gonna keep it on normal. We'll probably just jump it up to hard eventually to make it more realistic to the horror aspect of battling uh, supernatural entities. But for now, we're gonna keep it on normal as we kind of learn more about the game. City of Shikawa, Japan, 19. 80-something. We're gonna say 83 just for the hell of it. Something strange is happening in our town. Robed figures can be seen gathering in the woods at night. People are going missing. Seeing creatures are deteriorating the seaside. The rapid technological progress of modern era brings comfort, but also uh, new, unknown threats. Old gods, malicious eldritch beings who ruled the earth eons ago are awakening as reality starts to crumble. Armed with clues, spells, and your dwindling sanity, you'll investigate mysteries across the city and in whelps beyond. An old train slows down and stops at its last station. The end of the world is at hand, and you've finally arrived in Doom Town. Alright, the supposed Alexander the supposed cause of destruction of the Library of Alexandria, a perfect black marble statue, has been recently rediscovered and is currently waiting in the museum of our town for its premiere. Old God's Rule. Both you and enemies deal extra damage. Backstory, World of Horror. Character exclusive perk cards only. Okay. World Horror. I'm a completely different character. Now I'm a female. My stats seem pretty much the same. Welcome to the World Horror. And private messages will appear here. First time playing? Click here. No, not quite. Uh, let's go to my home. You check your mailbox. It's empty. Continue. Back in your home, you think of your next move. You are not currently investigating any weird mystery. Recent newspaper clippings and notes collected in the next room should point you in the right direction. Take a peek through a peephole. Oh. Yeah, you're always there, huh? Go back to the town screen. Access to storage. Oh, I can interact with different things on the screen. Where nothing happens, so I can't turn the lights off. Creep. What is that? Wait, hold on. Oh, hold on! Hold on! Who are you? <laughs> Dude, this dude's creepy, but you're worse. Cause that's just a pervy neighbor. You're worse. What are you? <laughs> I'm not going outside. Let's take a bath. Your shower. The shower will help you calm down and do wonders for your sore muscles. What temperature should you set it on? Uh, cold water. Hot water. I'm just gonna go with. I'm just gonna go with warm water. All right. Let's go ahead and start a mystery. Inexplicable and morbid events have been plaguing your town for some time now. You've marked down five of them, hoping that there is something connecting them. You can tackle these five mysteries in any order you want. Beware. Your decisions will haunt you and influence yet unsolved mysteries. Okay, cool. Alright, let's see. A curious case of a contagious coma. Spine-chilling story of school scissors. A chilling chronicle of a crimson cape. Alarming account of abnormal arms and the macabre memoir of morbid mermaids. Uh, 
Let's check out the curious case of contagious comas, because that sounds interesting. Contagious case. Curious case of a contagious coma. More and more people fall unconscious and cannot be awakened. People trying to wake the patients up result with them falling into comas themselves. A whole wing of the town's hospital has been dedicated for the comatose. Is there anything connecting these people and how did this strange illness start? Let's go ahead and investigate this strange mystery. To advance this mystery, investigate this circled location, which is the school. As you progress, the location and the rules may change. Alright. Let's check the news reports about this weird disease and try to find the cause before more people fall asleep. Patient Zero, investigate the village location twice to complete this quest. Alright, I'm at home right now. Looks like I need to go to the school right now. Let's investigate the school. Alright, you've started a new mystery. You've encountered a computer room. You stumbled upon the computer room. This is a good opportunity to check the school's database to look for anything that might help you investigate. Let's go ahead and check it out. Uh, <laughs> knowledge check. Failure. You find a curious folder containing photos. With rising horror, you discover that you're in every one of them. The last photo shows a smiling man standing over your bed. Don't like that. Okay, travel to downtown. I'm, I guess I'm investigating downtown now instead of the school. The only metro light in your town connects the university and the science complex. You could take a ride to gain some time, but you've got a feeling something is wrong. Where are all the people? I'm just going to take a walk, thank you. Walking to the takes a precious time, plus 1% doom. Oof. Alright, you have to sneak into the hospital and borrow the patient zero's records. So now I'm going to the hospital. Someone has been branding the patients with occult symbols. I don't have the arcane, arcane gasp, grasp skill, so I guess we assume the worst. Branded like cattle. Are they preparing a feast for the Eldritch Masters? Plus 4% doom. Jesus, you got the name and address. Let's get out of here. You stumble upon a nurse trying to open a door to the intensive care unit, constantly mumbling something. When she turns around, her face makes you scream in horror. Oh shit. Dull nurse. <laughs> okay, is there a flea? What was your experience but 5% raises your chance to hit? What is this? What is this one? It just says one time use only. Defensive actions. Run away. Meditate. I don't need to do that. Brace for impact. Uh, dodge. And then what's the spiritual one? I don't think I have anything. Listen to the rambling. No, thank you. Clap. Part of a ritual. Most combat rituals are a combination. Okay. So I don't know any combat rituals yet, so I'm just going to try to run away. Successfully run from Dull Nurse. Cool. Alright. Basically, get the village twice to complete this quest. Said travel to village there. Why am I still doing this? Patient Zero's house seems empty. You should search carefully. Investigating shop. Hearing footsteps, you turn around. Behind you stands a pretty woman in a sweater. Natural beauty. Yes, this is exactly what I need. You shudder, seeing the weird woman reaching to her pocket and grabbing a nasty-looking knife. Pretty face. Mind if I borrow it? Oh, fuck. I mean, I'm just probably going to try to run away again. Describing a certain village and instructions for summoning ritual. 
The man doubled a magic. He found a journal. It seems that he tried to contact a being from be uh, the Dream Realms. Ooh, the Dream Realms. I like the Dream Realms. Those are one of my favorite uh, areas of the Cthulhu Mythos. And the way to get to them is even kind of more interesting. I first learned about them through a board game, but uh, later kind of explored them a little bit more. Anyways, let's get the village. Okay, so we're still going downtown. Through the dirty restaurant window, you notice a shady looking man wearing a jacket covered in uh, strange symbols. He stops in front of a house, visibly nervous. Before he enters the house, he turns around as if he's checking for any unwanted followers. What could it mean? I'm gonna follow the man. Perception check failure. The door is locked, and you, but you think you can repeat the knocking pattern of the suspicious man used. Nothing happens. Plus 2% doom. There's all this fun. The quarantine wing is guarded closely. You must find a way to sneak through. Alright, so we're still doing this. Why does it say investigate village? I'm just gonna quickly investigate the village because that's what this thing's been saying. No one answers when you knock at the professor, professor Takeuchi's door. Taki, Takeuchi. Store. I don't know Japanese pronunciations, unfortunately. This is odd since he's normally punctual about his appointments. The smell of blood tells you that something's wrong, and you quickly open the door and make your way inside. There's no sign of the professor, but the quarantine quantity of blood everywhere leaves a little doubt as to what has happened. But how and why? Um, let's search the room for clues. Knowledge check for Jeez, my knowledge must be awful. You search the room but can't find anything. The sound of police sirens forces you to jump through a broken window and put. And you're injured. Great, now I'm injured. So let's get the village a little bit more. A heat wave continues with the record temperatures. Continuing your investigation takes more and more effort. Old man from the village hands you a package. This should help you understand the illness. Plus item. So I have an item now. Old man. Cool. So what is this item? What'd you give me? Dust of seeds. Uh, it momentarily renders invisible creatures partially visible. Set enemy power to zero. Sets enemy power to zero. Okay. Cool. Alright. So I guess we're going to travel back to the hospital. You wait patiently in the reception area. You still have some time before you are asked to the office. Right, move to corridor A. You venture further down the corridor. A nurse walked past you in a hurry. Right. Um, let's go take the elevator. Upper floor is eerily silent in comparison. What are you trying to do? Check out patient room. You shouldn't bother recovering patients. Check out patient room. Okay. Take the elevator back. Uh, hold on. Go back to the morgue. The morgue door is closed. Okay. Return to the reception room. Emergency department is crowded as a direct result of the weird things happening in town. You finally are asked to the doctor's office. How can I help you? Additional actions available on the injuries card. How do I... Where's the injuries card? Because it said I was injured. I have a cut artery. Holy shit. Okay. Holy shit. When the patient came home one morning covered in scars and babbling about aliens, the police had them committed. They're mumbling something quietly as you pass by. Uh, talk to them. Charisma check success. You immediately understand that the only difference between you and the crazy person is that you haven't been caught yet. You convince them to sneak out and join you in your quest. Plus one ally. Cool. I have an ally now. Let's help you find an answer here. Investigate this village twice. Oh, what is going on? Investigate the quarantine ring. You've managed to sneak through the floor, avoiding the police, and finally reach the quarantine ring, where all the coma patients were brought in. 
Their pulse is slowly weakening and the blood pressure dropping. You must hurry. Use the dust of seeing. Following the old man's advice, you throw the dust of seeing in the air. It reveals weird, elongated monsters hanging from the ceiling, one above every bed. Each creature is connected to a patient with an undulating tendril. As you try to process everything, one of the disgusting creatures raises its head and looks in your direction. Prepare yourself. The creature causing the contagion coma plaguing your town has taken notice of you. You must defend yourself or perish. Oh, I don't have any weapons. Oh, hold on. I need to do that in a different order. Can I take it clear? Yes, okay. Turn to me, okay. Ah, they tried to, 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 to devour me soul. You found a broken bottle. Okay, I've got a broken bottle. Wait, what happened to me trying to get my person? Okay, whatever. Prayer attack, strong, strong attack. Oh, I can't, what? Oh, hold on. I don't need to do two preps. Prep, strong attack. Prep, weak attack. Oh my god, it took me down to four. Oh, and I still have 27. Dodge. Prep strong. Okay. If succeeds, must recover action for the duration of this encounter. If failed, lose a random ally. Okay, go back to defensive. Dodge. Prep strong. <laughs> oh my god. This is so much harder than the first time I played this game. Oh, am I unconscious? You will die at the beginning of your next encounter. I defeated the Dream Devourer. That encounter was the final straw. Your mind has snapped, but you've been locked, and you've been locked up in the asylum. It'd be comforting to accept that you were insane, and no old god is awakening to devour humanity. The drugs haven't made these horrors disappear. You've perished, cause of death, stamina loss. Level one, difficulty level, cultist, equipped, I had a broken bottle. I fucked up a little bit. Summoned old god, Ithatu. Incoming doom, 25%. Your playthrough lasted 17 minutes. In this round, you didn't complete any mystery. I was close. You didn't see any events. You didn't encounter any new enemies. You didn't unlock any new achievements. Fuck, dude. I did bad. All right. I'm going to continue to play this game because this is a lot of fun. I'm actually really loving this, and they've done such a cool job with this. Not to mention there's all the mods, and, like, this game, if it has a good enough of a community, could go fucking anywhere. Anyways, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, please leave a like and consider subscribing for more.